After nine hours of protesting, the march against President-elect Trump ended on the steps of the state capitol. As our Carlos Garcia shows us, the message was loud and clear. Before the dust settled after the presidential election... Donald Trump is not the president! I wasn't expecting Donald Trump to win at all. I don't know. I just think Hillary would have been a better choice. Hundreds rallied to denounce the man many have called unfit for the White House. Others didn't see it that way. Even though I don't agree with what they say, um, their right to protest is what makes this country great. Some say President Trump poses a real threat to minorities. I'm scared, you know? I, I'm thinking about all the things I'm going to have to hide about myself, and we shouldn't live in a world like that. Protesters fear that President Trump will target undocumented immigrants living in the country. It's a collective fear which carried the protest for nine hours all the way to the state capitol. I really did not think that many people would be coming out and showing support for this. I think that's pretty amazing and shows that the people have power. Carrying the message that no single election can take that power away. At the state capitol, Carlos Garcia, Spectrum News. A small group of Trump supporters stopped by the UT Tower rally but left after being outshouted by protesters. Anti-Trump protests continue across the country. Hundreds poured into the streets in San Francisco while others took part in a sit-in to show their displeasure of Donald Trump's Election Day win. It was a mostly peaceful protest. That wasn't the case for others, though, like the ones involving fire in Portland, Oregon. Protesters marched three times last night. At one time, people were setting items on fire. One of them was a paper mache Trump head. In Los Angeles, protesters also burned items there. They also took to the streets and blocked roadways for motorists. The city's busiest freeway was blocked. Police scrambled to protect both protesters and drivers. In Minneapolis, hundreds took to the streets to protest Trump's win. Police say it was a mostly peaceful protest, though at one point a flag was burned. Chaotic protests broke out at Trump Tower yesterday. Demonstrators and press have not been allowed inside the tower. The normally buzzing lobby of Trump's residence and campaign headquarters is currently closed to the general public. One Austin City Councilman called on Americans not to unite but to fight back against a Trump presidency. Councilman Greg Kassar of District 4 took part in Wednesday's student-led anti-Trump rally. Earlier in the day, he sent out a statement likening America under Trump to Alabama under then-Governor George Wallace. I had constituents, families from my district, uh, terrified and crying. Uh, one of my constituents got a phone call from his nine-year-old daughter asking if he's going to get taken away, if she's going to lose her dad, and Donald Trump's going to send somebody for him. Kassar won re-election to his district Tuesday, but said he took no pleasure in it because of Trump's win. 